Hi everyone, welcome to another tutorial from Affiliate Sport Team. In this tutorial, you are going to learn how to use the actions and how they can save you a lot of time. Actions basically it's a way for you instead of doing the same uh, over and over techniques that you usually do on a photo you can just record that actions once and every time you want to use them again just play just uh, press play and Photoshop automatically uses the techniques that you recorded it's really easy as I'm going to show you first of all let's open our actions panel if you don't already have it open so to open that just go to window and select actions or if you want alt plus f9 so here we have our actions I have presets what is what is this set? This basically it's a folder that has all the actions that you re recorded. So for this tutorial we are going to create a new folder. To do that just click this icon and name it. In this case I'm going to use tutorial actions. I have another one with this name so I'm going to put tutorial actions D. Okay, so this this is the folder where our actions are gonna to be. So it's time to create our action. To do this, we just need to click this little arrow here and go to new action. As you can see, it's going to be on the tutorial actions B and you can name this action in this case I'm going to use an um, uh, effect that I've explained in another tutorial uh, I've called it dream effect which is a very simple but cool effect that you can give to your photos okay I've named it dream effect now press record now Photoshop is basically recording every step that you make to this photo so let's start by duplicating our layer pressing ctrl G or just right click and duplicate layer whatever you want okay we have our layer duplicated as you can see already on our actions you recorded this action layer be a copy now go to filter blur Gaussian blur I like to point out that I'm just uh, cho showing you how to use the actions so this effect that I'm going to do is just an example you can do whatever you want using the Gaussian blur or resizing image doing watermarks whatever you want I'm just using this example for this tutorial so uh, Gaussian blur you put the motor blur basically this is cool press ok as you can see you record it the Gaussian blur effect that you used now we're going on the top layer put it in the overlay mode as you can see our photo now has uh, more vibrant colors and a little more mystic as, and as you can see you recorded also this overlay mode okay if you want you can also merge the two layers pressing ctrl shift e as you can see you recorded the action okay you can press stop now there we have our action recorded in this case the dream effect action okay now if you want to use this this dream effect on other photos or whatever you want you don't need to do these steps that I did it's really that easy you can I'm gonna show you how you open your photo that you use that you want to use this technique I'm gonna choose 
I have a lot of photos as you can see but I'm gonna choose this photo of a pretty girl and now I'm gonna to give the dream effect but I'm not going to duplicate the layer, going to filter blur Gaussian blur uh, set, put settings right and merging all together I'm just clicking one button you just need to select the dream effect that you recorded previously and hit the play selection button and in a few seconds you have your dream effect as you can see it's really that easy and it saves you a lot of time and you also can save like the all the actions you want uh, I did this dream effect you can save the dream effect you can save imagine that you want to do a action where you resize your image always 50% you can also do that whatever you want you can use this on every move you make on Photoshop so I hope you like this tutorial I apologize for my lame English if you have any question just ask and I will respond to that as soon as possible